Okay, so that's not all though. Um, you know, the, of course, running memory interface fast is is uh, is important. Um, but as you guys know, you know, compression uh, as a technology is an area anybody is incredibly passionate about, and we have uh, world class experts in, in this area. Uh, and and we you know we we leave no stone unturned in terms of our investment in, in this. You know, basically, if you can compress the data, so you don't have to send it off chip. That's a direct performance benefit. You know, that's, that's you know, <laughs> better than going and sending it off chip and spending the power and, and, and bandwidth to go do that. So, uh, in Pascal, we have our fourth generation now of, of Delta color compression, we call it. So, the classical compression, if you guys remember from the Maxwell generation, is basically if you have four colors around that are the same value, you can just store one, right? You can save 4x. But that's a very limited scenario, right? That, that doesn't work for. Uh, 1xa, for example, um, it's, 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 it doesn't work if it's a triangle that intersects uh, a slice in, in 4xa. So delta color compression is the idea that you actually you analyze the individual pixel values, right? You actually just do math and you look for uh, if two pixel values are very close to each other in terms of their absolute values. You can say I'll just save one of those values and then I'll save the difference between them as the, as the, as the residual, right? So in this picture on the left. It's sort of showing the idea of a kind of a green gradient, right? And you know those light green and, and kind of little darker green colors are pretty close to each other. So maybe instead of having you know 32 bits uh, for each of those, maybe you'd have 32 bits for one, and then maybe just like four bits for the other one to sort of say that the green is a little different, and the blue, you know, the blues go different, a little different, that, that sort of thing. So so that that's our two to one compression mode, which we've had. Uh, which we have, which had, which had since the Maxwell generation and, and before then, um, we enhanced in this generation. So the idea is we still have a two-to-one mode, but we're a lot smarter now about about different ideas to explore. So basically, every pix, every packet that comes in, we'll test multiple different experimental ways to compress it. So okay, well, you know, maybe maybe these pixels can be a delta off each other, maybe these pixels can be a delta off each other, and we'll try to find the best fit. And if, if we can look more, or for more often, we're more lucky to find a fit where we find a combination that's actually able to compress two to one. So that, that's an enhancement we made in this, in this generation. Um, we also extended this delta color compression. We, we found that there's often cases where actually you can go, even go beyond two to one. So we have a new mode, which is a four to one delta color compression mode. So if you have a, like imagine the sky box, you know, the sky of the, of, of the game, right? That, that's very shallow <laughs> gradients that are changing, right? So, so you could actually go beyond two to one. You could go to, you can go to four to one. That's our new four to one mode, which saves even more bandwidth. Um, and then we have an eight to one mode, which combines that four to one delta compression with more of a classical, you know, same pixel value compression. So you're running an AA, for example, uh, you know, with, with multi-sampling, oftentimes you'll have adjacent pixels that are the same value. And then the, the ones in the neighborhood might be different. So we, we combine those together, we can get an eight to one uh, compression ratio. And then, of course, you know, all this has to be lossless, right? This is all under the covers. No developer ever sees this. You have, you have to fully preserve all of their bits. So in the end, if none of these work, then we can go over to uncompressed. Okay, so, so here's an example of, of how this works. So this is a screenshot from, from Project Cars showing you know, a road here, and I'm going to show you Maxwell. Um, so here's Maxwell. So Maxwell does very well. Uh, you know, the, the magenta uh, color here is basically showing pixels that got compressed. Um, and so you see in Maxwell, a large chunk of the screen gets compressed, but there are also parts that don't. So like the, if you look at the mesh area kind of in the, in the middle of that car, you know, between triangles, the, there was just too much little difference there, kind of threw the two to one compression off. Um, if you look in the, in the grass on the side there, it's not changing very much. It's basically green grass, but it's like a little dark green, a little light green, and it just was, was too much variation to, for the two to one compression to pick it up. So here's Pascal. So we pretty much just got it all done, right? Um, so basically in Pascal, you know, we, we, you know, we can handle the car now. Your car is basically gone, and the grass on the side, you know, some, some of it still has a little bit too much variation, but most of it is, uh, is pretty much gone as well. So basically, if you effectively have basically cut the bandwidth in half kind of across the board at this point. So, so this is a, a really great mode. Again, it's, it's, uh, it's complicated to try all these different com combinations out, but we got a good, a good result from it. Uh, so this is, this is uh, showing the, um, some results. So basically, this is taking a couple of diff different games and showing how much reduction we got going from Maxwell to Pascal. Um, overall in these games from the, from the work that we did. So you put that together, uh, comparing GTX 1080 to GTX 980, um, 
So the DRAM bandwidth, you know, going from the going from the seven gigabits per second, ten gigabits per second, is a little over a 1.4x boost in raw bandwidth, and then a compression benefit, you know, varies by app. Let's say you know 1.2x is a pretty good, uh, you know, kind of rule of thumb for the lift to get from compression. You put those together, we're talking you know 1.7x overall kind of effective bandwidth, uh, going from 980 to 1080. Uh, so that's a big step up in, in, in one generation with both of these technologies uh, together.